Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I've got you another interesting Power Query challenge. I hope you guys are ready. Let's go. All right, I'm in the Excel file that contains the data. Let me just take two minutes to explain you the data and also help you understand what is the problem that we're trying to solve here. It's really simple, nothing too complicated, just four columns in the data. We have the customer ID or the identifier. We have what is the monthly investment amount that the customer is making, when is the investment starting, and when is the investment ending. Nothing that complicated. The problem is that we need to be able to generate a row for every single month that the customer made an investment, right? Let me just help you understand what should the output look like for you to be able to solve the problem better. Let's just pick up customer number 123. He is investing $1,000 starting on the 1st of Jan 21, ending on the 31st of December 22. Let's just go take a look at his records. How does his records look like? So for customer number 123, we are collecting that amount of fee every single month. And for every single month, we have generated a row that is right here. So 1st of Jan, one investment, 1st of Feb, uh, the other investment and so on and so forth. Since we are collecting all the investment money at the start of the month, we have generated a row for every single month until the end of the investment date. Take a look, this is going to end in 24 rows and the last date is the 1st of December and the investment period will ending on the 31st of December for which the customer has already made that investment. Nothing too complicated. All that we have to do is generate rows between the start date and the end date. Now this can get slightly tricky at a few places. So let's just take a look at customer number 125. The customer number 125 is committing $1,000, but he's not really starting on the 1st of the month. He's starting on the 12th of May and he's ending on the 31st of December. So let's just go take a look at that particular customer. I'm just gonna go search for 125, press enter, and let's just filter his particular records right here. So take a look, customer number 125 is committing $1,000, but his first investment was definitely not made on the 1st. It was made on the 12th of May. And following that, every single month, we'll collect the investment on the 1st of the month. So 1st of June, 1st of July, so on and so forth, until the end of the investment period. That's what you have to do. You have to generate the dates between the start date and the end date for every single month that the customer is making the investment. All right, that was all about the Power Query challenge. Just one rule that solve this using Power Query only. And you can obviously download the data underneath the video. And a big shout out, just like the way that we always do it, is going to be for all the people who participate and post the correct answers on the blog comments. That's all about it. I will see you with the answers in the next video. Thanks so much for watching this and do participate. I'll catch you around very soon. Thanks. Bye.